I do have the power cell. Let's... Where's... Never mind. Let's actually... Let's go back to our prawn. Let's go back to the, um, the Vondworm. And we can go from there. I think that's a better strategy than, than going out of our way to remake the Seamoth, because the, the Prawn can also go the same distances, and I feel might actually be a little bit more mobile. In some ways. I'm trying to think, like, we need five ingredients. Got one from each area. Mushroom forest, that thing, grind sea, normal land. What would make the most sense? Uh... Can't believe we fucking lost the worm missile like that. Fucking... Feel like that thing like took us from 100 to zero. Absolute bullshit. Kind of making me reconsider uh, not having any of the uh, weapon systems. You know. Kind of makes me want to get and equip a few. Get a bit of revenge for killing the worm missable. We head on over here and go to the moon pool. Looks like the bug is gone. It's no longer partially submerged for no reason. So that's fun. Ooh. Okay, not sure what that was. Run, 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 as fast as I can. Down, 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 Whee! Uh, The downside with this elevator is uh, when it breaks, it doesn't turn into an escalator. So uh, you'll just kind of be fucked. So, oh, I guess this place is the open water. So I guess uh, the babbies would not be screwed. That could be kind of how we get our prawn out of the fucked zone. Yep, yep, all right. Get on through the Stargate. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good shit.
Gotta get to the oxygen, my friend. Welcome aboard, Captain. We are. Uh, hmm. Wait, are each of the plants maybe obtainable in here? Did I overthink this? Hold on. Um. That looks like just barnacles. No? That's the brain thing. No, that's a... No. Hmm. The plant life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Interesting. Interesting that it specifically is talking about the plant life around here. Hmm. 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 That looks like a bl mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems like this place might have like one of everything. Drecky. You silly worm. You silly serpent. Or am I not silly? None of these look like the... I mean, I'm seeing some, but like there's the mushroom one and my unknown one. Got peepers and bladder fish. Oh my, down here. Why you scrim? Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Mother Fuck you. And then one for the road. Alright, hold on. What's down here? Cube. Interesting. Uh... There it is. There's Lindworm. Vondworm. Oh, we're at 1600 meters here. Yeesh. What is the sea crown? Bladder like sac. Containing bacterial species. Inter. Rare to the point of extinction. Share sections with the membrane tree. Fucking membrane trees, man. Total bait. Alright, so. We need to go and build. We need to synthesize the membrane. So we're gonna need to go through the portal and then back. Oh shit. Uh, where's the fucking way out of this tunnel? Where's the hole that was made for me? Ah, here it is. Crazy how draw distance do be like that sometimes. All 
All right. Uh, we need to head to the Stargate. All right. Stargate. We go to C Lab to synthesize. We come right back and hatch them eggs. I think that's maybe the end of the game? Actually, wait. No, the end of the game is... the launch pad. Duh. Um... Hmm. I feel like you should try and launch. I should. Hmm. Eh. Lead? I ironically do need lead. <laughs> that fucking biter. What are you doing, little guy? I'm a mech. Give me all your lead, baby. Better lead than dead. Am I right? Kind of said that kyanite is not used for much. Also, Nick, like, it's kind of weird that some of the more advanced materials aren't used more. Akari Squish, welcome on by to the Sega Rot. I hope you enjoy your time. Almost the C Lab. Then we can make this enzyme. I can pick up the other things I need for. What is this? Is this some titanium? No, it is lead. Uh, 14 lead is plenty enough. what I need is titanium. I'm not sure what I need for the computer chip. I think we have the stuff for it. We'll just have to see when I get to the sea lab. Is that some copper or uranium? It is gold. I'm gonna get me a piece. Just in case. I think computer chip is gold wiring and coral, so we'll find. Oh, you found them nice? Yeah, it's just uh, random. Ah! Ah! Oh, welcome on by. Let me get my fucking mech inside the fucking pool. Ah. Frozen fish raid. Hello. Hello. Uh, I see you were playing Sub-Zero. Um, so I don't know anything about Sub-Zero. I might be playing that blind maybe after this. So please no spoilers. Um, I feel like we're almost we're pretty much at the end of Subnautica. I'm um, working on synthesizing this enzyme thing, so just for, for your awareness. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Drakey Ormer, uh, Draconic Serpent, Flightless Worm, or Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm here on the internet. Uh, usually I have more dimensions than two, uh, usually more three-dimensional. However, 
Uh, this has been a long stream tonight. I want to I wanna try and finish the game. So... Uh, my camera ran... The, the battery died. So, I am in my more... Uh, uh, camera not needing form. <laughs> However, I do have the benefit of... Of... What, what's the fucking... Fine. Make me menu... Oh. Ha! I have... I do have a maid outfit. Wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I have the feather duster. <laughs> but hey, I don't know how long you were streaming, but streaming is some hard work. Uh, I have everyone's attention now, so you can stand up and stretch. You know, go leave a piss. Take a water probably grab the water from someplace different than you pissed, but, you know, I mean, I, I, what do I know? <laughs> hey, welcome to the Ziggurat, Tonakuma. Hope you enjoy your time here. Akari also has a <laughs> I feel like the main outfits are pretty, uh, pretty versatile. Although I realize I need to change my outfit change buttons because it being my one, two, three, four buttons is not conducive to like hot swapping of my items. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Um, what am I doing? Oh, also our uh, manta ray, aka the uh, the sea moth, um, kind of got fucked by the reaper leviathan because I didn't realize it was sneaking up on me, and I was trying to find this damn. Sea crown seed, but in a way it helped us because I went back to get my um, the prawn, aka the uh, no, it's not a stargate. Where did I store it? Where's where is it? No, the worm missable. No, 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 no. Where did it, where did it go? It's the Vindworm. It's like Lindworm, but, but underwater. It's the first time I've lost my damn uh, Seamoth. And actually, you know what? Let me unpin that blueprint. But like the prawn suit I had left in the Sea Emperor uh, place. And when I went to get it, I decided to explore the Sea Emperor place because there was flora around it. And I was like, maybe I'm overthinking this enzyme. And then I ended up finding that damn bloody fucking sea crown. Uh, so let's make the hatching enzymes. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, we can unpin that. Unpin all. I do need to make this. So we have the lead. Uh, computer chip, coral, gold, and copper wire. All right, we still have some copper in here, so we're good to go. Uh, the biggest loss from losing our, uh, our manta ray, however, is we had some extra crab snake eggs, and I wanted to start having just a swarm of crab snakes because I feel like, you know, I'm a worm. I should have, I should have, like, some snaky entities. And also, I like collecting, like, one of everything. To mixed results. All right. Um, let's get some fresh wawa and make some lantern fruit smoothies. Good shit. Grab another couple waba. Um, do I have? Mm, I think we're good to go with the other. You know what? I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this plastic steel of my ingots just in case. I grab a whole bunch of titanium. And some lithium. So I'm feeling a little, little paranoid because I'm not sure what else I might need. We'll store the um, lithium in 
here. Oh, I guess we have plenty of quartz for glass. I didn't think about that. Two, four, six. We'll just make some glass while we're here. Good shit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, take the Wawa out. Um... Oh, right, the Vandworm wasn't showing up because it was literally docked with the... I'm, I'm a potato. All right. All right, now we need to go back and deliver the enzymes. Um, honestly, actually, um, it'd be faster to just take my, take my little merciful thing as I go out. Also, I, I have been completely, it's been a long stream, so I'm a little distracted. If you somehow came here from Hikari and you weren't already following them, I made it really easy for you to fix that. Uh, you can just click the little heart and then you'll be able to check them out again. And again, thank you for uh, bringing your people on by. Always fun meeting new faces. I usually play in video games. A bit of a longer stream than usual, but uh, I'm gonna be honest, Subnautica has sucked me in. Uh, didn't expect to like it as much as I have. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of open world games in general. I like to have a bit of a goal, but it's uh, it's been pretty pretty consumable. Very, it, there's been very like logical progression working through the game, been very clear objectives to work towards, uh, while still having you know a little bit of wiggle in room. If I want to do any silliness, do some base building, starting an aquarium, collecting eggs. <laughs> You're a vibe. <laughs> well, I am glad to hear that. I certainly attempt to wow, amaze, entertain, scream. Uh, hasn't been too much screaming today. Uh, I feel like we've we've kind of gotten into the phase of the game where we we've we've uh, we've uncovered most of the mysteries. We're just working on tying everything up with a bow and full sending it down the court. Come on, baby, gotta make our way downtown. Gotta deliver the enzymes way down, down to the sea. Emperor or Empress would be either because the animals here are non binary. Alright, I think this is the Stargate. Uh, that's. Where's the Stargate? Is it further down? Might be further down. Nope, that's it. I see it. I see the glow. Certainly not going to contemplate the effects of water pressure on wormholes. Because I feel like that, that way lies madness. <laughs> All right, now, before I drown, because I did not think about this, hopefully this isn't a long cutscene.
Ooh. Ooh, look at the little babies. Oh, they're like turtles. They are like turtles. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. I wonder if they're telekinetic like the, like the parent. Oh, all right. I need to, I need oxygen or I'm going to die. Oh, but they're so cute. Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh, and it's making all the little noises. I need to breathe. I'm drowning from cuteness. Cuteness overload. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep? And never wake up. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. The Sea Emperor passes. I guess we're cured now. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Oh, that's so sad. It's so interesting that it seemed to it seems it had a philosophy of reincarnation, you know, of cycles passing one to the next. Ironically, a lot like, you know, uh, Rain World, another game I've I've played a lot in. It's so fascinating that there there was this huge sapient species on this planet basically you know intelligent baleen whales and then the the other aliens that came here trying to find a cure ended up dooming this planet and killing off so many of them but through luck and happenstance you know this planet is not doomed and the sea emperors will live on. Hopefully this this may be the the five five last of them, but you know, depending on the life cycle, that may be enough. The planet can maybe recover. They're just like, oh, they're just putting the enzyme everywhere. Bleh, 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 bleh. Optic blast, enzyme blast, enzyme blast. It's a strange attack to be sure, but one that our foes do not expect. I do want to see if passing through the portal 
is some kind of trigger for the Sea Emperor. Because it said that it was... It was dying. So I want to check on it. And see if it's like no longer moving or something. I also feel like we need to revisit the power station. I feel like there is something there on the internals. Yep. Oh. I mean, he's still moving. Gosh, to live thousands of years. Shai Hulud. Praise be to the maker. I guess the next step is we get our prawn and then we work on building the the launch pad, I guess, to to escape um hmm I don't know what we do about maybe since we're cured we can launch and the gun won't shoot us down Maybe. I feel like... Yeah! About 10 meters per second. We're losing three oxygen like every uh all right we're losing one oxygen per second uh, uh doing quick math quick math yeah 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 we, we have enough barely or more than enough and i think my math is terrible go pretty far pretty fast on the water welcome aboard captain great to be aboard damn I need to the bioreactor is uh not so great. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some Wawa. Good shit. Refill off some lantern smoothies. Delicious. Now for the long grapple back up. I feel like it is only fitting that we head back to where it all started. To build our launch platform.
Well, I feel like once I build the platform, it's then gonna unlock a bunch of other bollocks I need to build. That's why I'm bringing some of those other materials with me, just so I have a head start. Love it when I can launch myself with the grappling hook. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Whee! Going higher. Higher. Higher than the sky. Going off to space. See myself away. Gonna find my way through this land. We've traveled to the depths of the ocean. Now we need to see the depths of space. Maybe we'll bring with us a sample of the beautiful fish. But definitely not kelp because this kelp scares me. I do not like the kelp forest. Oh, that was a good launch. Kelp is scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kelp forests are terrifying. You gotta realize, if you get tangled up in kelp, it is not good. Uh, always have a, have a knife on you that can cut through kelp. Um... Yeah. All right, all right. We are almost there, almost there, almost. Although I now really do want to see if there's like a mech warrior mod. <laughs> Because I can imagine taking a catapult and fighting the Reapers with just like 500 fucking torpedoes launched from its shoulder missile pods. <laughs> That'd be a pretty great way to fight the uh, Leviathans. Fuck you! Eat missiles, LRM-20s! Four. So we need Um, it says launch pad. My favorite song. Uh, hmm. Wrong button. My potato. I need the mobile vehicle bay. Ooh. I need. All right. Wait, no. Didn't I leave it in here? Yes, I did. All right. Let's go, baby.
damn. That is big. Which is, you know, valid. I'm surprised we it only needed like two ingots, some lead, and a computer chip though. Man, those uh nanobots make do with quite a bit. Lubricant and copper wire. All right, that's not too bad. You know what they say, you either lubricant or you lubricant. That, that's what everyone says, right? Nor normal people say that, right, All right? We got the vine. Now we need two copper so we can make the spool. Actually, hold on. Don't we have copper in the brawn? Let's check our vandworm. We have gold, not copper. All right, back to looking for some bricks to crack. Yeah, yeah, y'all and your acid farts. Absolutely rancid. Won't you think of the other sea life for once? I mean, jeez. Sorry, my, uh, face itched pretty badly. Oh, that scared, that scared me for a second, but it's just the, uh, that thing. All right, don't need lead. Need... Copper. Looking for the copper. Need some copper. It's the copper. Want some copper? Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, we need a surface for some oxygen. But back down we go. Look along the wall to see if we can find the copper. Look up. Why did you give me titanium? Come on, buddy. Why did you give me lead? Actually, I think I don't think sandstone can draw. I think sandstone is just lead, lithium, and silver. All right, we got one copper. Two copper. All right. So let's do a bit of refining. Oh. Swap batteries. Fortunately, we are very far away from our lava zone base, which has all of the accoutrement. So we'll just have to try and make do as one does. All right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, I probably have to go over to the pad. 
Ooh, do we have an eclipse? Oh, sick. I think this is our third eclipse that we've gotten. Seems to happen pretty frequently. All right, that's a, that's a hell of a stinger. Bit of a jam, one might say. Um, hmm, we might have that down at, uh, Sea Lab, actually. I know we have the nickel. I think we left. No, I think we might have taken the aerogel into lava zone, but the aero that's not too hard. We can just we can make a trip down to C Lab and build that shit. Uh hold on. Um no 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 no. Alright. Uh probably I should build a battery recharger, however. What do I need for a battery recharger? Alright, so let's head to C Lab. And hopefully we can find a copper vein on our way there because uh, we need it. We need the copper. We need the copper. It's the copper. Oh, that was a good launch. Oh, that poor peeper. He's got two floaters on him. Oh, a bastard never stood a chance. Oh yeah, maximum speed, baby. Now we zoom in. No, no! All right, time for the red reef zone. all of our momentum. Sucks to suck, Drecky. There we go. All right, I actually do want to get close to the ground in case we see any copper. Not sure if we will be that lucky. I think we'll set our scanner room to search for copper while I gather the materials because I feel like we're going to need a good bit of electronics. No, nope, that was titanium. Hey, that's some copper. That's some copper. Hells to the yeah. Uh, that is the good shit, baby. Um, nom, 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 nom. Delicious, delicious copper ore. Copper in my tum tum me. Ah, storage is full. Well, I can make room for that.
Good shit. Shit's good. Alright, we need... Copper. Ah! Guess all the silver is in here. I don't have silver. I see. Well, uh, hmm. Let's see. What do I need for range upgrade? Copper magnetite. Let's do that. Do one speed. All right. We need silver. Um. We need nickel. That's fine. So for aerogel, we need the goopy guys and the ruby boys. Go ahead and hop on into the Prawn Point O. Wait, hold on. How much? <sighs> Not a lot of inventory space. Uh, let me take all of the crystals, actually. And... Some of the lead. The, the green green stuff with the electronics. Take those and put them here. So we have a lot of ion things. Alright. We'll get the silver for the wiring. Then we can look for... I was hoping to see the gel sacks and rubies on our way down. Oh, it looks like the silver is going to be over in the brine sea, so that might be good. Because we may also find a um, nickel vein that we can harvest. 